Do you remember the famous thought-provoking quote by Oscar Wilde? Always borrow money from a pessimist. He won't expect it back. I happen to know someone who is a true embodiment of pessimism. His pessimism has brutally roughened life's path for both him and his family. His negative attitude to the weather usually destroys the harmony during their vacation. The weather is never favorable. It is either too hot or too cold. There is no snow or too much snow. His wife comes back home with fantastic news that she had received a salary increase. He beats all the joy out of her by stating that it's just a meager pay rise. He goes on to reinforce his critical remarks by reminding her that she will now have to pay more tax on her salary. So don't be so excited. It's like having a bucket of ice cold water thrown over you. He has two children and their grades at school are never satisfactory. When they acquire a B, he complains that they should have worked harder to obtain a better grade. He goes on to blame them for being irresponsible. His family's propositions to get involved in something new and enriching are always invalidated by him. In fact, most of his sentences begin with, but. He lost his job a few years ago because he was not getting on well with his boss and had to subsist on unemployment benefits. The labor office reached out to him many times with fairly good offers, but the job was never appropriate enough for him. When he failed the first interview for the job he had supposedly wanted, he blamed the whole country and condemned the government. After that, he tagged himself as a failure and retreated into his world of averageness. Today, he is still unemployed and as miserable as ever. He has become a professional grumbler and an ultimate couch potato who uses the remote control to substitute his shallow and dull life. With such a negative attitude to life and pessimistic outlook, it will be difficult to build and transmit charisma to his family. It will be difficult to capture people's hearts and influence them. Unfortunately, if the right steps are not taken to slacken the hangman's noose around his neck, he will go round and round in circles. Without optimism, you cannot be charismatic. Without charisma, the road to both private and professional success will become bumpy.